The dream of most people who discover day trading is that one day you can consistently make enough money that you can quit your current job and make day trading your full-time career. That reason might be you don't like your current job field, you want more independence, or maybe you just want to be completely financially free. Whatever that reason is, I'm going to show you how I went from eight years active duty military to full-time day trader within two years. Before I can even begin to give an explanation, I need to provide a little bit of context and backstory so that the rest of the video can make sense. When I was 18 years old, I joined the United States Marine Corps to be a motor transportation mechanic or technician. Basically, I worked on all the trucks in the military and the reason I chose that job is because my hobbyist mechanic background. While I was in high school, I was really into off-road vehicles, cars, trucks, stuff like that. My original life plan was to do 20 years in the Marine Corps and retire from there. But something about that job really left a void kind of in my soul and I felt like I was meant for a lot more than what I was doing. I really wanted to be able to affect more people's lives in a positive way than what I was doing at the current time. And with that in mind, I decided that I wanted to go and be a United States Marine Corps drill instructor, which is the guy that basically teaches and trains young men and women to become United States Marines. With that decision came the most challenging time in my entire life, both physically and mentally. That job brought me to my breaking point almost every second of every single day the entire time I was there. After graduating drill instructor school, with my first class of recruits, I was running on average between 10 and 20 miles a day. My voice was gone. I was only sleeping between two and four hours a night, if I even went to sleep, and my feet looked like something out of a horror movie. I was working about seven days a week for three months at a time, and it really did prove to be the most physically and mentally challenging portion of my life. Towards the end of that time on the island as a drill instructor, I actually tore my bronchial tube from yelling so much. And the reason I even tell this story is because it taught me something not only about myself, but about human beings in general. We are capable of so much more than our bodies allow us to believe. Your mind is by far the most powerful part of your body. Now, you're probably wondering, Cameron, how on earth is this going to help us become full-time traders, become profitable and consistent in the markets? If you even have to ask yourself that, just go back and really think about all the reasons you're not making it as a trader. Is it because you don't understand your strategy? Or is it because you have a lot of really bad behaviors that is keeping you from achieving success in what you're doing? How many times have you been FOMO'd into a trade, fear of missing out? How many times have you got stopped out and immediately re-entered to a bad trade just because you feel like you've lost money and you need to make it back up? All of your bad behaviors in trading, you need to be mentally strong or else you will not make it. Think about people like David Goggins who ran 100 miles without ever preparing. If he can do that, you can succeed at trading. People can start a billion dollar business out of their garage with literally nothing why can't you succeed at trading and that is the mindset i went into trading with if me just an average person from florida can go and run 10 to 20 miles a day on two to four hours of sleep sometimes not sleeping at all i remember there was times where i would be running and i would just start stumbling because i was falling asleep while running and my feet there was blood seeping through my boots because my toenails were falling off and the skin around my toes was just gone if I could do those things, there is absolutely no way that a bunch of little candlesticks going up and down on a chart was going to be the thing that brought me down. That mindset is only part of the equation, and now I'm gonna show you the rest of the steps I took to get there. Step one is having a good trading education. You need to have a plan and stick to it. My fiance's brother-in-law is the one who actually got me into trading, and once he showed it to me, I was instantly hooked and there was nothing that was going to get me away from learning about trading. And of course, I went through all of the same things that new traders do. I had indicators on my chart, moving averages, super trend, MACD, all that crazy junk that just really clutters up your chart and doesn't allow you to see what's important, which is the price. And like most traders, I lost a bunch of money in the beginning because I didn't understand what I was doing, but what that did do for me was show me that, hey, this is not as easy as you thought it was going to be. You need to find an education some way or somehow that is going to teach you how to trade. With this came the obsession. I became overly obsessed with learning about how to trade. I was spending 12, sometimes 14 hours a day just sitting at my computer and watching one minute and 15 minute candlesticks form, trying to grasp any sort of concept 
about price action and about how the market works. I swear I watched every single YouTube on YouTube about trading up until that point. What that did for me was meshed a bunch of stuff together that I didn't need all of it. I really just needed to find one trading system and stick to that one trading system so that I could actually find some consistency. The problem was I was finding all the wrong teachers and I hadn't found the right one yet that really fit my personality as well as just looking for good information. My next discovery though was a massive step in the right direction. I had clicked on this video called Beat the Market Maker, BTMM, Steve Morrow, Course Day One. And that video is the one that set everything in motion for me on getting me in the right direction. That he taught in the video immediately resonated with me and everything started to stick and the concepts were flowing and I wanted to learn more and more and more about that trading style and that seemed to be the only style that I cared about from then on. In my search for more information about BTMM, I had found ICT for a short time, and although I think the information is very good, and I have nothing bad to say about it, for my own personal style, and I, it could just be something to do with my own learning abilities, I didn't resonate with ICT's style of trading. So the search continued. And with that search, I continually was putting in how to beat the market maker, all of these different search titles about BTMM, and that led me to Stacy's content about market maker templates, the three day cycle and whatnot. And just like that, I had found the education that I needed. There was over 900 videos posted at the time. And I was like a lot of people who find this channel, very, very dedicated to watching all of them. Finding this information told me and made me believe in my soul that this was a winnable game and that not only, you know, I enjoy doing it, but this is something that I truly wanted to pursue as my passion as well as my career. The only thing is I knew that it was very risky to leave a very safe, you know, very secure, every two weeks I get a paycheck kind of job and then go out and pursue something where I could probably, you know, according to statistics, fail within the first 90 days. Thinking about the timeline from beginning till where we're at right now in the story was about three months. From the time that I learned about trading, fresh concept to finding Stacy's channel uh, and being able to further my education was about three months. So I was very lucky, very lucky and very blessed to have found my style from the beginning, you know, only three months into my journey. A huge part of my learning process was opening a demo account and then putting the amount of money in that demo account that I had planned to use once I got out of the military. This allowed me to see those larger numbers that I wasn't quite used to with the amount that I had been trading with before. So that way, once I actually did go live, seeing those larger numbers wouldn't stress me out or cause some kind of weird emotional distress. The only problem with that was there was no emotions behind these demo trades. And I knew that as soon as I created the demo account, uh, because it was originally just for practice, you know, initial practice. Understanding that that was going to be an issue, I needed to find a way to solve it. So what I did was I gave myself my own personal challenge. And that was I needed to trade profitably for at least two to three months before I was allowed to trade any live money. This really put emotions behind each trade because I knew that if I didn't succeed or if I started making mistakes, then I would have to start over. So every trade really mattered. I took it very seriously and I followed the rules to the T. What this did was it caused each trade to have meaning because if I screwed up or if I made major mistakes that was you know account blowing, I would have to restart that time. So if I was one month and 25 days into my challenge and then I blew my account, I would have to start back over from day zero and attempt another two to three months of profitability. On top of that, I still had some debt that I needed to pay off. So I immediately went to work on paying off my debt so that I could be debt free getting out of the military, you know, so I didn't have as much stress. I had T minus one year and I really needed to get to work if I was going to be successful in this career field. I sold the Jeep that I had at the time and bought a junk car. So that way I had no payments and I was debt free from that moment on. So now on top of spending every waking moment I had on the charts, you know, those 10, 12, 14 hour days, sometimes I would get up at six and I wouldn't go to bed until one or two o'clock the next morning. I was saving every penny that I had into a trading fund. So that way, when I got out of the military, I would have an adequate trading account to trade with so that I could actually make a living off of the amount that I had. And with that came a new obsession. And that was 
developing a plan that I found sound and you know respectable that was going to lead me into success. On top of this, I also knew that if I got out of the military with just my trading account and no backup plan whatsoever, that could be very stressful. Simultaneously, with all of these other things going, I made sure that I started saving in my rainy day fund for at least two to three months after I got out of the military to pay bills and whatnot. That way, if things didn't pick up as fast as I had planned, I wouldn't be stressed out about it and I would have a little bit of cushion to fall back on. All this being said, it really comes to show it doesn't take a rocket scientist to do this stuff. I'm not a mathematician or somebody with a crazy IQ. I'm just somebody who knew what they wanted, had a little bit of mental endurance and a really good plan. I truly believe in my soul that anybody with a good plan, a little bit of discipline and a great education can make this work. Anybody can make this into a career if you go about it the right way. I really do hope that you found this video informative or maybe just inspirational. If you have, go down in the comments below, let me know what you think. Hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, please consider subscribing. You'll have a wonderful day.